So, today's topic is the practice it takes to get to where you want to be in Yu-Gi-Oh! with the deck that you feel that you want to be at. So, Christmas Eve, uh, me and Nate sat down to play tests the whole weekend. And I'm like, okay, so I wanted something fun to play. So I went on Dueling Days, and uh, we jotted down the uh, Chaos Dragon deck list with ninjas that they had. And we're like, you know, we'll, we'll play it, you know. Um, I went want to say about 50-50 with uh, Chaos Dragons, or not Chaos Dragons, with Elemental Heroes. So we kept on playing a little bit, and he decided he wanted to play the deck. So we played the mirror match, you know, back and back. He built his, I played mine. We went about 50-50. I'm like, no, that's cool, you know. So I started to get bored with the deck. So I called it quits on yesterday. So today, I went back over there. We played a little bit more of the mirror match and everything. Came home and relaxed, and then uh, I saw that Japan had the sixth Tetsu tournament. So we built, um, or I built Constellars and Fire Stars. I'm like, okay, you know, I've played a little bit of both of these decks. You know, one, two matches, you know. I, I know the general concept, what the go to cards are. You know, I figured I could think things out, you know. And I'm like, you know, the matchup should be relatively easy. So I play Fire Stars. I get two owed. So me being fat and lovely, I start to get, you know, kind of salty and everything. I'm like, okay. You know, that's cool. So, I go and I decide to grab Constellars and play a little bit, you know. I mean, Polydeus is your go-to guy. You can bounce cards on the offensive. But, Transformation disrupts you from even setting up. So, I got 2 one on that matchup. So, me being salty, I grabbed Evil Swarm and 2 would him into a Deep Dark Hole. But, that's besides the point. I mean, you really shouldn't get salty about things like that but it's basic human nature but um i felt i was in a position that i guess the superiority thing kind of kicks in you know like you feel like you've played a deck enough to the point to where you feel like you should know the general combos but um you, you feel like the deck that your opponent's not like the deck your opponent is playing is you know inferior to yours and you should you know have you know the advantage I guess, but then you just kind of get wrecked, you know. I I don't understand why Ninja Chaos Dragons is not a better deck here in the TCG. That like, opening up Hanzo Transformation with you know one other back row to draw away the MST, um, you're going to have to bring your one MST, and then chances are that Golden Upstart Goblin is coming next turn to bring out Hanzo to make an Excalibur play to put another Upstart into the hand for the next turn. There's just all kinds of really crazy plays that the deck can do, but my question to you guys is how does you Yu-Gi-Oh! practice? Um, do you get salty when you start to lose? Um, do you get frustrated? I, I do know it takes 10 years to get totally mastered of something. I've only been playing gadgets for 7 years now, and I'm still learning new shit about the deck every day. I mean, but that's just my story. Remember, it, it does take 10 years to fully master something, and I can say the same about Yu-Gi-Oh. I've been playing this game for about 10 years, and uh, I'm a little bit better than most people, but not much better. I guess I'm not on that pro level. It's just I have a little run around of what you do and what situations and whatnot what happens, but how does you Yu-Gi-Oh practice? Do you get pissed off, flip the table, yell at your uh, friend, do you just sit there at on doing that work? I mean, how do you do things? I mean, uh, they always say that you have to play people that are better than yourself to get better, but, you know, that, the same thing can be said about a deck. If the opponent's not better than you, but the deck is, then, you know, you can still exploit the weaknesses of it and try to get better that way. That's how you compensate for, you know, lack of knowledge and opponent. But that's besides the point, guys. So, I don't know, maybe I just made this video out of being butthurt, probably, but... Just kind of want to talk about my experiences with uh, playtesting. It's kind of good to get the thoughts, you know, flowing out as you uh, do something. I do apologize for not doing the contest results right offhand. I'll get to those eventually. Just kind of, I don't know, just kind of ninjutsued out, if that makes sense. I don't know. I really can't say it in any better way. Just <sighs> Hanzo Transformation Pulsar Dragon. Such a weird concept that it works so well. 
I, I guess. I guess that works. So, anyway, guys, let me know how you Yu-Gi-Oh practices. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. I'm definitely going to practice that Constella deck a lot more. It reminds me of uh, Evil Swarm, but less Evil Swarmy, I guess. I'm definitely going to do a video about Evil Swarm. Uh, Team Minority kind of disappointed me with what they did with their deck. I actually really disappointed me, but I definitely want to talk about how that deck is basically the tier zero deck in the format and some other things about it. I'm, I'm in the 50s now. I'm like 51 uh, with the deck. Something very close to that. I kind of lost track after I hit the 50s with it. So I'm definitely going to talk about that. I think I'm entitled to some opinion on the deck now. So guys, look forward to that in the next few days. Got some other stuff to talk about. And don't forget the Abyss Rising box giveaway ends on uh, December 29th, guys. So tell me, how does you Yu-Gi-Oh practice? I'm going to go hit the sack. I am tired as crap. So by the time this video goes up, guys, I'll be asleep. So have fun today, and uh, I don't know. I'll think of a cool video later today. Something interesting. Later, guys.